Hey guys, Lozard98 here, back with another Killzone Mercenary update. Uh, this time on the uh, official Killzone website, they've released screenshots of, uh, I think some, I think it might be all, I don't know. Uh, but they've released screenshots of uh, six multiplayer maps in Killzone Mercenary, which is uh, really, really great. Um, I'll add the screenshots in the video as I'm talking about them, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, the first map is called Shoreline. It's a, a rundown fishing village. Um, it's got weathered terrain and uh, sort of broken down industrial buildings and sort of stuff like that. And it really, really looks cool. It looks a, um, a lot better than the map. Any of the maps on uh, uh, Black Ops Declassified. And uh, each map has a uh, sort of new features like different cover. And um, this map actually f uh, features disintegrating cover. So if somebody's uh, firing, say, a machine gun or a heavy weapon. Uh, your cover will be blown, which is a really, really cool feature. Um, the second map is called Marketplace. Now, uh, by the looks of it, um, I think this is one of the maps that was shown on the original Killzone Mercenary channel trailer when it was um, first shown off. I, I don't quite know, but um, it, uh, it says, Beware the seedy back alleys, as danger could lurk around any one of the dimly lit corners. So literally, it's a... Uh, what the heck? Do you know what, they've used some really strange words in here. <laughs> so literally, it's just a multi-tiered market and ent entertainment district. So that is also pretty cool. Now, uh, the third map is called Zenith. Um, and now this looks like something out of Halo. <laughs> so the way the uh, the beams are going up there. And um, I really, really cannot wait to play on some of these maps. They just look so much different and something new for a change. And... Um, yeah, this map sits on top of a dormant smoker stack. I don't have a clue what it, this is. It says there's an, an enormous arc cannon is constantly scanning the atmosphere for targets, firing bursts of deadly en energy at enemy vessels in orbit, which is really, really cool. That is really, really cool. Um, so are the features, uh, it's got obviously a dynamic arc cannon that fires periodically throughout the match, lighting the game play area in electric blue light and shaking the smoker stack to its foundations that's actually pretty cool now I think whereas with COD Black Ops Declassified it's sort of very bog standard nothing really moves or the buildings are very just sort of uh, they just sort of sit there and uh, you're just moving about so it seems in Killzone Mercenary they're adding a lot of features which can actually affect your game like in Zenith with the uh, the art cannon and the shaking map which is really good and it keeps you on, on your toes or on your thumbs. <laughs> uh, the next map is called Refinery. Now this looks really, really cool. I think this is another map we've seen um, from some of the footage. I don't quite know. Uh, it's hard to tell from the screenshots they've actually given. But it says the refinery is where raw harvested petricide undergoes the process to refine it into usable oil. The facility interior is divided into a number of different areas for room to room close quarters combat while the exposed exterior courtyard is a hot spot for long-range fire targets, which is good. Uh, the features, balance of exposed exterior and enclosed interior. Oh my goodness. Wow. Do I tell you what? This is not a very good article to read out well, like I'm doing. I tell you, the, lot, the amount of words they use, I'm getting mixed up. Um, High-speed zip lines allow the player to rapidly traverse from one area to another. That is a fantastic feature. They actually had uh, zip lines in... Um, one of the uh, Black Ops Zombies maps, the snowy one, uh, uh, they had a zip line you could get through. So that is an awesome feature. And that uh, add a bit more of a fun element to the game, sort of zipping across where everyone's firing at you. Um, it says, careful route selection is essential so as to not expose yourself to a variety of vantage points, both obvious and obscure. That's also good. Hopefully there'll be places to snipe, to hide, and um, hopefully the maps are going to be bigger than the Black Ops Declassified ones. That will mean that you can use a lot more different weapons and the gameplay will be just a little bit mixed up and different. Now, um, second, I think the second last map is called Skyline. Now, from the screenshot, this kind of just looks like, um, looks, oh, it reminds me of Call of Duty map, um, from Modern Warfare 3, I think it is. Uh, I don't know, I'll pretty, pretty link the screenshot, but anyway, this looks pretty cool map, something a bit different from the others. Um, it says the Vecton Halls of Justice suffered 
heavy, da heavy damage during the Hellgast invasion. So that explains all the sort of the bombed out sort of stuff and the damage everywhere. And uh, that is really, really cool. Uh, that's good. Uh, the features of this map says routes can be dynamically created by smashing the floor to sealing office windows. Now that is brilliant. As I said earlier, I love that aspect. So hopefully we're going to have breakable terrain which can uh, mix up the gameplay. Highly detailed damage and destruction elements help reinforce the sense of being in the middle of a war zone. Brilliant. I think that's really, really good. As I said, that is exactly the same as sort of just like in, uh, I think in Battlefield, they've got things where you can sort of blow stuff out the way and uh, destroy walls. So that's pretty cool. Uh, collapsed floors create links between the two floors in addition to the damaged stairwells. So literally other routes to get to the enemy, jumping down, hiding, running about. Uh, and again, this one features zip lines. Um, give a rapid route from one area of the map to the other or to escape a confrontation or to initiate one. So that's brilliant, skipping across the map on zip lines. That sounds really fun. Now moving on to the last map they have uh, shown us. It's called Inlet. Strange name, but uh, this looks pretty cool. Um, it says, the Corinth River provides the epicenter for the ISA's invasion of Helgarn. The beach area around the jetties and sluice gates being just the latest area to see action. The terrain is pockmarked with craters, trenches and discarded cargo, creating a feeling in of being in the middle of no man's land. A partially destroyed road bridge spans the battle area, giving an advantageous but exposed elevated position from which to survey the battle zone. So that's a load of old gobbledygook, but um, that sounds cool. So uh, hopefully being a uh, run up there and sort of... Uh, maybe snipe or shoot from those sort of points or hide from the enemy and also going under sort of hiding behind crates and stuff is really good now the features of this map it says an open and free form area there are very few defined routes and considered tactical movement is required to stay alive extreme lines of sight op open opportunities for snipers and other long-range weapons to be highly effective that again that is brilliant maybe for quick scoping hopefully you'll be able to do that in this game <laughs> It'd be uh, we'll have to see when it comes out, but uh, it says the wide open terrain offers little in the way of cover from the aerial vanguard attacks. Oh, that sounds cool. But a broad selection of hard cover points for on foot engagement. That's good. So you've got somewhere to hide on this map. It's not all going to be a hard map. It says this worn torn landscape is perfect for setting traps, ambushes, and flanking the enemy teams. Now, I noticed how they. Um, Mentioned perfect for setting traps and ambushes, so maybe we're going to have some kind of trapping system or some kind of weapon you can lay down as a trap. So um, obviously there'll be more updates as uh, nearer to the game. We've only got now, I just looked, and we've only got um, four months to go, I think. Oh, I can't remember which month September is. I'm terrible with my months, but I think around three or four months until uh, the game comes out, which is really, really good. So um, I, as again... As I always say, I'm so looking forward to this game. Uh, I hope you are too. Hope you enjoy this video. Um, I'll be doing, you know, I always do a video on sort of the main updates uh, of Killzone Mercenary. Uh, subscribe and like the video if you obviously liked it. And uh, stay tuned for more. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.